What's going on guys? Today we are gonna do our best to bring you along. We are doing some thrifting. Sipping on coffee, let's go. Found a few potential pairs. Now we are gonna go through and check condition. Pair of Reebok Classics, great colorway. No rips or tears. Plenty of life left. We're getting 50% off, so these will come down to eight bucks. Pair of men's A6 GT 2000s, original insole, no rips or tears. It's not the best colorway, but it's a good size. Men's 11 and a half. Always check the toe box, make sure there's no holes. We'll take them. Good tread. And then half off, that's gonna be eight bucks. Love finding Nike Lunar Glides, both men's and women's, when the insole is really, really good condition. You always want to make sure no rips or tears, as always. And then plenty of life left in the sole. Half off. 18 is 9 bucks. We'll take them. Dance goes so really well for us. Bam, always look for that logo. Heels are good, but tears right in the upper here. We're, even though these are sweet, we're gonna pass on these. Here is a pair of Under Armour. It has the suede toe, no rips or tears, original insoles. You always wanna make sure that if you see anything, obviously on suede, that it's not too bad. We'll be able to get this off. Still plenty of life left in these. And 12 at half off, these are only six bucks. Those are keepers. Here is a bright colored pair of Nike mids. These are obviously a youth. These are a 3.5 Y, which can also be sold as a women's five. These are missing one set of laces. This one doesn't have the laces, this does, but we have a bunch of extra black laces. So this is golden, 18 half off is nine bucks. That's a yes. Now we find a bunch of these because we're in New England. These are LL Bean boots. We always wanna be super thorough. Make sure there's plenty of tread left. And then these are half off 16, so these are eight bucks. These are golden, and it's bonus if they have the Thinselet lining inside, which these do. That's a yes. Here's an interesting pair. It's really soft suede. It's got these bright colors. It looks pretty cool. And then it's got this cork surrounding it. The soles are in great condition. 18 half off, nine bucks. However, there is zero brand. There's no, oh, you, you got the Euro sizing on the bottom, which is 41. There's no proof of brand. There's no, uh, there's not a lot of info. So we're gonna pass on these. Here's another pair, Nike Lunar Epic Flyknit 2s. This is a men's pair, no rips or tears. The original insole is in excellent condition. Cool colorway, plenty of tread left. 18 half off is nine bucks. This is a big yes. Here is Saucony. It's a good brand. Great running shoe. Lots of tread left. Nine half off is 450. Except it's got some tears right there. So we are going to pass on these. These might be the find of the day. You guys know we talk about Hoka 1-1. These are the Stinson 3s. No rips or tears. Has the Hoka 1-1 Ortholite insole. Plenty of life left in these. Tread looks really good. 18 half off is nine bucks. Bam. That's a yes. Here is a pair of Asics. These are the gel blades. Cool colorway. Little scuffing on the toe. 
no rips or tears original insole tread is a little oh right there missing some of the sole so we're gonna pass on these mizuno's another great brand wave lightning it's a cool colorway a little dingy on the toe that's not good the soles look good and at 12 bucks half off six is good however missing the insole and it's starting to fray a little bit and so i can get it on the heel so there's not a lot of life left in the heel and they don't have their original insole so even at six bucks we're gonna pass on these so nike is a good brand obviously gore-tex is shoe gold but the thing is when a hiking boot or shoe has gore-tex it usually means it's been worked a lot and as you can see right here always give it the twist test that is obviously a big no doesn't matter what the price is Keen is a phenomenal brand. We've been selling a ton of their sandals. These are 12 half off, six bucks. Looks like the tread is still pretty good. It's like medium. Problem is, it's a boom. The cord is ripped right there on both this one and the other one. So we're gonna pass on these. That's a no. Here is a pair of Puma running shoes. Really cool colorway. It's borderline uh, in terms of the dingy. It's got no rips or tears on this one. It's gotta be super, super thorough. Found a tiny little tear over on this one. Plus, got some debris right there. There's the tiny little tear. So we're gonna pass on those. Doesn't matter what the price is. Here's an interesting find. These are Nike Zoom SD. And using the information on the tag, the nine digit code, you can look up exactly what it is. These are actually track and field discus shoes. Now they are in good condition. They have the insoles. Uh, we are gonna pass on these because of two reasons. One, they're super, super specific. They're, they're made specifically for discus and they are men's 15. So, our money is better spent in other shoes that have a bigger buying pool. Now, if you have a bigger buying budget and you're okay sitting on them, this might be a good buy. But for us, we are gonna pass on these. The condition is great. The price is 18 half off is nine bucks. So the price is good, the condition is good, but the specificity is just not something that we wanna put our money into right now. So this particular Salvation Army on Wednesdays does 50% off of everything and then gives these punch cards. So for every $20 you spend, you get a punch. So we've gone a couple Wednesdays in a row and we've accumulated these cards. When you fill out the full card, you get 50% off your purchase any time, obviously one time use. So because we've accumulated these cards, we now don't have to wait until Wednesday to go to 50% off. We can go any day during the week. Obviously we wanna go before the big rush comes on Wednesday so we can get 50% off and we have more of a variety. The bottom line is, are you guys taking advantage of the discounts that are offered? And those discounts differ between states and even between stores within each state because there's other Salvation Armies within Massachusetts, the current state that we are in, that don't have that deal. Communicate with the people working there. Ask them what kind of rewards programs they have. Ask them what kind of discounts they have. Ask when the discount days are and then source strategically. Oh, hey. Now time to look through all these and put the yeses over here. Crazy pair of Converse studded big soles. Condition is good. Plenty of life left. This is a yes. Another pair of Keen sandals. Always make sure all the strappings are functioning, everything is good, and that there's plenty of tread left. These are another yes. 
Here are a pair of Converse All-Star Chuck Taylor 2s. So you guys can see, these are a sample pair. The white will clean up really easily. The yellow will clean up. It's got the, a little bit high on price, 17 bucks, but it's got the Lunar Lawn insole. Because we've purchased so many pairs, it'll bring the buy cost down under 10. Another pair of Nike Free Flying at Fours, 650. No rips or tears. Plenty of life left in the sole. This will clean up nice. That is a yes. We do really well with the Air Max. The buy cost is good. However, there's a rip right there. And there's a rip right there. So even though these are 650, good colorway, we are gonna pass on these. That's a no-go. Pair of Youth Kobe's, these are five bucks. These will clean up really nice. No rips or tears. Plenty of tread left. This is a yes. Here's a pair of Flynet Lunar 3's. Now these are small. These are actually a women's five. Uh, everything is good. The buy cost is 11, but with the collective average, it's gonna come down under 10. If you have a smaller buying budget, we usually pass on these because the size is so small. The buying pool, people that are women's size five shoes is a lot smaller. But because we have a bigger buying budget and these are in excellent condition, it's got the name brand, it's flying it, there's no rips or tears, the buy cost will be under 10 bucks, we're gonna say yes on it. Here are the Zoom Pegasus 32s, these are the men's size, no rips or tears, uh, still have life left in the insoles, still have life left on the soles. These are a little bit higher, $16.99, but again, with the buy cost and the collective, it'll break under 10 bucks because we're getting so many pairs. This is a yes. Nice pair of Velvet Converse. Again, a little bit higher buy cost, 17 bucks, but with the collective, these will be under $10. And the bonus is that these are my size. <laughs> So if for whatever reason we decide not to sell them or for whatever reason if they don't sell, uh, it's better to take chances when they're your size. <laughs> Here's another pair, probably the same person that donated, 14 bucks. Uh, it would be high if you were purchasing these, only these. But again, because we're purchasing all these pairs plus the other one, the buy cost can be under 10 bucks. Plus it's got the floral colorway. Plus it's got the platform, which is super popular, and then the name brand. These are fire. We're definitely picking these up. Here is a pair of Saucony Cohesions. These are really good running shoes. A little bit smaller size, but we like them. No rips or tears. Excellent buy cost. You always want to make sure that you're sticking your thumb in and checking the heel to make sure that there is no damage. That might not be visible, um, but might still be there. These are good. These are a yes. Here's a pair of New Balance. These are the Boston Fresh Foam Xantas. We do really well with these. We sold both men's and women's. They've got the logo lettering on the bottom. Still plenty of life left. No rips or tears. And the original insole is still good. We'll use a fabric shaver to get all those fuzzies out. No rips or tears. Good to go. That's a yes. Here is another pair of New Balance. At first look, buy cost is good, $7.50. No rips or tears, heel is good. Fresh foams are always good. But when you do the twist test, you'll see over here, starting to separate right here. We definitely do not, especially because it's a running shoe, you never wanna, no damage, of course, but you wanna make sure you're doing the twist test to make sure the sole is still intact. This is a no, we are passing on these. You guys have seen before, Keen is a phenomenal brand. We sell a ton of the sandals. The tread looks really, really good. The buy cost is 550, that's really good. However, when you look at the sole, you can tell that someone has tried to fix these and kind of re-glue them. You always want to double, triple check. Check four times if you have to. And this is a pass, we're gonna pass on these no go these boots and the buy cost is 12 bucks but the point is they feel heavy which is a good thing the leather feels really soft and smooth and we didn't know the brand so these are called double h boots 
So we did some research and it looks like on all the marketplaces we are using, they are selling really well. No rips or tears, plenty of life left in the insoles, plenty of life left on the soles. So this is a yes. Lindsay? Yes. All right, we're back home now. We are finishing up the haul video, getting everything lined up. I want to show you a couple more of the pairs that we didn't show you in store. Sometimes when the employees are pricing, they don't really know what they have. These are literally brand new Chacos. Maybe you've been worn once. Four bucks. Solid find. Here's another sweet pair that we found. We had to look up the comps on these. We hadn't heard of this brand before. Garment. Maybe if you're a little French, Garmal. But these are a men's 12 and a half, no rips or tears, original insoles. Uh, these were $15, but with the collective, the buy cost came down under 10 bucks. You guys obviously know Converse All Stars. We do really well when we find funky colorways or multiple tongues, or in this case, there is a double lining with this tie in the back, and then just really cool colorways. These will clean up really nicely and with a buy cost at five bucks, can't go wrong with that. Now this, this buy cost will actually go up a little bit, but it'll, it'll continue to bring the average of everything down 10. This is what makes buying in bulk so great. If you don't know, now you know. Be on the lookout for Hunter Boots. We got these at the thrift, they were 10 bucks. That'll come off with a little foam shoe cleaner. These are in really good condition. The buy cost of the collective will be less than 10 bucks, but that's still really good for Hunter Boots. Sourced a pair of Birkenstocks today. Bam, there's the logo in the middle. You always want to make sure with Birkenstocks that the straps are in good condition. People like uh, used Birkenstocks, obviously, because they're usually really expensive, but because they're used, you want to make sure they're still in really good condition. You want to make sure the corking is good. And then you can't go wrong with a $4 buy cost. These will clean up real nicely. Birkenstocks are gold. We consistently find Nike free, sometimes 4.0s, 3.0s, 5.0s. These are an extremely lightweight shoe. There's a lot of flexibility. They're super, super comfortable. They're super easy to clean. You just want to make sure, obviously, there's no rips or tears up in this area, original insoles. Nike Freeze in all the different styles are good. You guys obviously know Vans. These are a Play-Doh's closet find. As always, you want to make sure they're still in good condition. These were only $10, which is solid. Sometimes they're 12, 14. They might be more if they're bigger men's sizes or if they're a more recent style. But we've been selling through Vans uh, regularly on Poshmark and Mercari. So anytime you can pick these up when the collective buy cost is 10 or under, game on. So with all said and done, the last three days, we sourced 112 gently used pairs. The buy cost is $7.63 a pair. There you go, guys. That is our three-day haul. We wanted to bring you into the adventure as we were going around and doing some thrifting for used pairs and just to repeat it's super important to keep track of your numbers as you go because we purchase shoes that cost as few as a few dollars two three four five dollars all the way up to a pair of Doc Martens that was up in the 50s but when you total all everything together the average buy cost which we will put into our chart is seven dollars and sixty three cents a piece we also went to a ton of different stores we went to salvation army we went to savers we went to goodwill we went to plato's closets we did a wide variety of types of stores as well the first stop was a couple hours away and it's super important we've talked about this on previous videos and we'll talk about it again in the future planning your trip so that you can see as much inventory as you possibly can and try to coordinate with the discount days. Now, some of the places we went to today were having discount days and some weren't, but we were happy with the overall buy cost and the number of shoes that we brought in. As always, if you guys have any questions at all, jump into the comments below and we'll continue to share what is working for us 
as the shoe adventure continues. Yeah.